Want to go faster? You need to accelerate. In the car, that means pushing down on the accelerator. Of course, the more powerful your engine, the more vigorous your acceleration. Acceleration is proportional to the net force. The greater that force, the greater the acceleration. However, the mass of the object being accelerated is also important. Say you put a powerful race car engine in a giant dirt mover filled with dirt. You wouldn't win many races. So acceleration is inversely proportional to mass. The greater the mass, the less you can accelerate because there's so much inertia to overcome. We can combine these two relationships into a single equation. Acceleration equals the net force divided by the mass. Say a net force of 10 newtons is applied to a 1 kilogram object. The acceleration is 10 divided by 1 equals 10 newtons per kilogram, which is the same as 10 meters per second squared. Double the net force, and you'll double the acceleration. 20 newtons to a 1 kilogram object, that's 20 meters per second squared. What happens when you double the mass, say from one kilogram to two kilograms? With mass in the denominator, we see that a larger mass means a smaller acceleration. Double the mass, and you'll have half the acceleration. Now you know why race cars are built to have the most powerful engines combined with the most lightweight body. This equation spells out Newton's second law. It's important to note that the direction of acceleration is always in the direction of the net force. Always. With no exceptions. To convince yourself of this, try pulling on a spool of string. Ah, physics. The study of the rules of nature. Good energy. Good energy.